Hello, and welcome back to another Traker video, where today I am going to do the ultimate grind. Today I am going to be launching many tourists to space to get lots of funds so I can upgrade the R&D building. In fact, because of the number of rockets I'm building today, I have decided that I won't show the entire building process, as I'll be building 15 rockets and launching 15 rockets. Because of this, I decided I will not be showing the entire building process. I don't like to do this because I feel it's kind of against the EVA career because the whole point is to show that I'm building it in EVA, but I figured the video would end up being very long if I showed the building process for all 15 rockets. So here I am constructing the first rocket tipping over things that are on the ground as I fit the fins. When I built the future rockets, which I didn't show because I figured the video would be too long otherwise, I fitted the fins last because they're quite weak, so if you if you knocked it over, it would break the fins. So here I am. Here I am adding more fuel tanks to the top of the first stage. As this is the first rocket I built, the first of this design of rocket, uh, you can see it's quite a frustrating process where I go up the tower fall down, then I go back up again, fall down, then I go up, then I fit these truss segments to the top, drop one, then I go back to the top to fit them in a the place I want them, and that creates a platform where the Kerbal can stand next to the rocket, so the rocket can be built. I found the better way of building a rocket than that, than just taking each fuel tank up to the top. That way is to fit, basically put the tanks together into multiple pieces of like stacks of three tanks and then stack them up like that. It's quicker and a bit less frustrating. Here I am attaching the capsule to the decoupler, and now I will be uh, now I will assemble the second stage, which consists of a terrier engine inside of a structural tube. Then I fit this decoupler, but because I fit it in the ground, it causes it to explode. So I had to quick load, and so I decided to rather fit the decoupler to the top of the rocket instead of fitting it to the bottom of the second stage. So here I am fitting it to the top of the first stage. Then I go and put the fuel tank on the second stage. And then comes the big struggle of moving the second stage, because it's too far away to move it to the truss at the minute, and I can't tip it over because it's too heavy. So that was a bit of a struggle to do that. I did eventually manage to move it, and I managed to attach it to the truss, which nearly tipped it over. Then I got another Kerbal to climb up, to lift it up. Then I realised it was Bob Kerman, who isn't an engineer. So... 
yeah, I, he fell off multiple times in the process, which then I realised he wasn't an engineer. So I had to put Bob back in the rover. Then I got a Kerbal to hang onto the side of the truss ladder so that I could try and lift the second stage up higher. But I figured I could lift it all the way to the top, which I managed. And now I will try and lift the capsule up to the top. So here I am about to move the capsule. There we go. And then I think maybe I shouldn't lift it all the way, maybe I shouldn't put it on the ladder yet because then a Kerbal wouldn't be able to get to the top. So I put it halfway up and then I lift it the rest of the way up and now the rocket is complete. So here is the rocket on the launch pad. This will be the first to launch of this design of rocket. And we'll be launching in a few seconds. Here we go. And lift off. We have the first lift off of this design of rocket. This is, I believe, my first fully liquid fueled rocket design. I'm not sure about that though because I haven't really rewatched the older episodes. But I believe this is my first fully liquid fueled rocket. If it isn't, it's definitely my first fully liquid fueled orbital rocket. I decided to go with the wide fuel tanks for this rocket so that the rocket is quite wide and short. This helps with constructing the rocket because then you don't have to climb the kerbals up as high. So I've just gone to four times speed to show the rest of the flight where I do a gravity turn get some atmospheric heating, stage separation, and you can see the second stage works. There I am doing an EVA report because I'm trying to get the most science I can out of this first flight. And we're in space, so we've completed one of the objectives that the tourist wants, which is to go on a suborbital flight. Next will be orbital, and that can be completed by doing this burn. And as you can see, the tourist is, has now seen all the things they wanted to see. So now they want to go back to Kerbin. So... I don't know why I wanted... Yeah, I wanted to see if I could get the landing guidance to see if I can get an indicator to show where I'd land. But... I, I didn't have that because I didn't unlock that. So. So I'm just guessing where I need to do the deorbit burn. And here is re-entry. There I am looking up at the stage. And here we go, down into the atmosphere. Here comes the heating. Here we go, coming down over the desert. A small desert west of Kerbal Space Center and here we come down to a landing just west of the mountains and because I have a lot of tourist contracts to do I decided to go split screen with this 
So here is four launches being showed at the same time. The next four launches of this rocket. As you can see the top left one did spin a bit because I broke one of the fins while assembling it. But you can see it was still successful, I still had control of the rocket. You can see the bottom right one is getting is getting further into the mission than the rest of them. And now we have stage separation of all four rockets. And yes, yeah, so this is the many tourist flights I did with this rocket. So this is the this is launches two to five. And here we are going for re entry on the bottom left bottom right capsule and here we are going for re-entry on the bottom left capsule splash down for bottom right heating for bottom left Re-entry for top right. And parachute deploy for bottom left. But as you can see, this was the ultimate grind because it's not easy to build those rockets. So I had to build every one of these rockets. And there I've gone to full screen on the last one. I was half tempted to not build the rockets on EVA because I know I can build them, but I felt that's against the... I felt that's against the EVA career. Here is the next five launches of this orbital rocket. As you can see, I launched this rocket many times. Many times. Honestly, I don't really know what to say right now because all I'm doing is launching a lot of rockets. That's why my commentary isn't very good right now. There's stage separation on the top two. The bottom three, I don't know, I might have flown them more efficiently, so I don't know. I've flown the bottom three differently. And the centre one isn't a tourist flight, because I was going to launch a tourist, but I forgot and the game just put one of the engineer kerbals on board instead, and I didn't check. So the bottom right one is the one after that that had the tourist I wanted to launch. Now, all of these flights ended up getting reverted after an issue happened. I'll cover the issue a bit later though. So here we are going for landing on three of them and re-entry for the centre one. 
and going for re-entry on the bottom right. And the bottom right one is the last flight I have done with this rocket. And here we go for splashdown. And then I went to fly suborbital. Then I went to fly the suborbital Taurus. That didn't want to fully go to orbit. These ones are like these are basically the same rocket but shorter and without the second stage. So these ones I actually flew before in between these ones I flew before the last five launches of that orbital rocket. But I just decided to edit it in this order because I don't know why I just edited it in that order. So these are the last five tourist flights with the suborbital tourists. You can see one of them I launched two tourists because I didn't want to build two rockets and I wanted to save money as well. So, I have a confession to make. I did actually cheat four of the Kerbals, four of the tourists, to space and back. And the reason I did this is because I was put fitting the second stage on top of the rocket. Just dropped something there. I was fitting the second stage of the rocket onto the first stage and and the rocket tipped over causing some tanks to explode so I spawned in some new tanks on the runway so I could rebuild the rocket and then I noticed the capsule which had the pilot and the tourist on board was not there anymore it turns out the game had deleted the capsule and killing both the Kerbals in the process. I loaded a save, my last quick save, which undid four of my flights because I didn't do many quick saves. So I had to cheat the last four flights. Anyway. If you didn't enjoy this video, remember to dislike and unsubscribe, and maybe you won't watch the next video.